Hey, it's Kyle here, and today I'll be reviewing Star Wars Path of Vengeance by Kevin Scott. This is the last book of Phase 2 of the High Republic series. Um, and I'll say overall, I really enjoyed this book a lot. I thought it was a great, um, very satisfying conclusion to Phase 2 of the High Republic series. Um, if you read uh, some books in the uh, High Republic series so far and you haven't got to Phase 2, maybe you're still in Phase 1, or you finished Phase 1 and you're not sure if you should read Phase 2, I would certainly recommend it. I did not enjoy Phase 2 as much as Phase 1, but I still thought it was very uh, interesting, um, great reads, uh, and I think satisfying in relation to what was uh, put forward in Phase 1. So, you know, Phase 2 is kind of the prequel to Phase 1, and I think Phase 2 does an excellent job of that. Um, I was a little skeptical when uh, Phase 2 was announced to be a prequel, but I think they did a, a really good job with it. Uh, but now to get on to the this actual book, uh, Path of Vengeance, and I'll say uh, I've really enjoyed Kevin Scott's work in the Horror Public Series so far. Uh, you know, several authors have been involved in this uh, initiative, and um, Kevin Scott has definitely produced some of my favorite works in the series so far. Uh, so, I think this book le leads up to what he had already contributed to this series. Uh, a few elements of the book I really enjoyed before I kind of get into the, more of the plot details, uh, which I'll go into super detail in case you haven't read it yet, but kind of the basic stuff. But I really enjoyed what uh, Kevin Scott did with the um, sisters, uh, Marta and Yana Rowe. Uh, I really um, enjoyed uh, the characters a lot when they were first introduced to Phase 2, and then we don't really get a whole lot of them in the rest of the books until this book. Um, but what we, we got with these characters in this book was very interesting. You know, uh, my opinion on Yana completely changed. Obviously, at the beginning of the series, of Phase 1, she's kind of somewhat of a, uh, you know, a bad guy, and we're not supposed to like her. But honestly, I didn't really find her that interesting of a character until the very end of that first book. Um, and this book continues it. I found Yana to be very fascinating and was very um, intrigued to see what would happen with her character. Uh, Marta kind of went the opposite, you know, route, you know, we're kind of introduced her and, and we kind of see a good element of her and she has the opposite transition, transitions more into this crazy cult leader, um, but she's a, such a fascinating character. I really loved what Kevin Scott did with her in this book. Um, yeah, I mean, she's, uh, there's points in this book that she is such a scary, uh, unhinged, villain that you're not sure what's going to happen and you think she's capable of everything and in some ways she's is. Uh, I also really enjoyed what we got to see with the mother in this one, the their initial cult leader. We kind of got to learn more about her backstory but also her motivations, uh, how Marta and the other members of the, the cult relate to her. Um, I really enjoyed that as well. And uh, so kind of, let me, I guess, get into the very basic elements of this plot. Uh, this book goes along with what happened in the last uh, book of Phase 2, Cataclysm. Uh, and basically, Cataclysm, we get um, the Battle of Donna. Um, and then in another book, the Battle of Jeddah, you get the Battle of Jeddah. This book kind of gives you those two battles from the point of view of Marta and Yana. Uh, so it's very interesting because in those first two books, you very much get the point of view of the Jedi. So this concluding book, you get the, the point of view from, you know, these members of the Path of the Open Hand. And it's very interesting because, you know, in both Jedi and Cataclysm, the battles were very chaotic and it was, there was kind of a fog of mystery around the, the battle, confusion, you not really knowing what was going on. And some of you were kind of from the Jedi because they did not know what was going on as well. And this book kind of really helps you get the opposing point of view and you kind of get some gaps where they're like, oh, this is what was going on during the battle. This part where it's a little confusing. This is what the path of the open hand slash the path of the closed fist was up to. Um, really kind of found that interesting. I'll say I also uh, was not expecting the reveal that um, Marta is the person behind the transition of the group going from the path of the open hand to the path of the closed fist. Um, that was a very cool reveal. I'll say, if I had any small complaint about this book, I found the characters in the path more interesting than the characters in the Jedi uh, in this book. Uh, I didn't dislike the Jedi characters. I just found um, they weren't my favorite Jedi characters from this series so far, and even in Phase 2. I think I would have rather some other Jedi maybe been the main focus of this book. 
Um, so I didn't really tend to enjoy the Jedi side of the storyline as much in this book as I did the stories that was focusing on the Rose sisters. In fact, uh, honestly, I would probably would have preferred even more <laughs> um, looking at their storyline and interacting together and kind of their sp splitting and then coming back together and then splitting and coming back together. Um, so if I had one small complaint about this book, that would be my complaint. Uh, but Marta, such an amazing character. Um, this book um, series, Phase 2 specifically, did such an amazing job of examining the dynamics of a cult, um, what the followers are like, the different type of followers, the different reasons why people have to join a cult. Um, some join for a very negative reason, but some join for a very positive reason from their perspective. And the various leaders of the cult and their different motivations and what it's like to transition from a cult follower into a leadership position. Um, this series does an amazing job in that and I found it utterly fascinating. Um, I enjoyed a few of these characters, especially the Rose sisters. I'm kind of hoping in the High Republic maybe we get some flashbacks and get some more of their storyline elements and a little bit more detail of how, um, how they transitioned um, to future generations becoming the Nile. Um, we kind of are able to fill up the, the gaps on our own, but I wouldn't mind, just because I enjoyed the characters so much, a little bit more of them in Phase 3 of the High Republic series. Uh, but overall, like I said, I really enjoyed this book a lot. Was it my favorite book in Phase 2? I think I'd probably maybe have it as my second favorite. I think I like Cataclysm a little bit better. Uh, but overall, really enjoyed it. Um, and it definitely has me excited for Phase 3 of the High Republic series. So let me know, um, what have you thought about the High Republic series so far? What did you think about Phase 2? And what was who is your favorite character in Phase 2? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you have yet, please subscribe to the channel. I really would appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. I'll see you the next time. Happy reading, and may the Force be with you.